All right, everyone. Welcome back. You know the name, and you know the game, and I went the wrong way. In my steadfast adamantness. Okay, so what we want to do real quick, before we do anything else, let's head to this shop. Okay. So, here's the deal. We have the casual slacks. These are the ultimate jeans we're going to be... These are the ultimate clothing equipment we're going to be wearing. Just so you're aware. And then we also have the general badge. This is our last badge we're going to be wearing. Um, before we do that, though, I would like to go ahead and equip the cobalt necktie. Again. This time I won't forget to take it off when we're done shopping. But um, we want to get that. And then... We're going to get right to it. Okay. See, look at the difference the price makes. Look at how much cheaper we're getting them for now. Equip that to Mario. Equip that to Luigi. And we also want to go ahead and get the general badge. Because, look, it increases our bro points, but it doesn't decrease our attack. Okay, now. We're going to go ahead and sell um, what we have left. We have two brilliant badges. And we also have two of the queen bean jeans. And that's it. Okay, now. Don't want to forget this this time, but take off the cobalt necktie. Okay, we're good. We have done it. We are ready to finish the game. We could probably get more bean drinks, but we really don't need to. Um, so, all we have left to do is find a way to get into Bowser's Castle. And, uh, spoiler alert, yeah, Bowser's Castle is the last area in the game. The game ends in Bowser's Castle. If you've been paying attention when I started the game, you might have noticed that, um... You might have noticed that, well... Uh, my last save file from when I beat the game, that was in Bowser's Castle, so you'd have probably noticed. If you noticed that, you'd have already known that Bowser's Castle is the last area in the game, but I just beat you cheated and looked, you cheater. So let's head to Hoo Hoo Mountain, because before we... wait. No. Actually, let's not go to Hoo Hoo Mountain quite yet. Um, I'm forgetting in what order I want to do these, but I actually want to go to... Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? I actually want to go to Guahar Lagoon first, so let's head on down to the lagoon. It's pipe 8. And what we want to do is... <laughs> what we want to do is save. Let's save again! Ah... Uh. Why do I keep saving so dang much? Okay, so, without further ado, why don't we go pay our old pal Hermie a visit, real quick. Hey, Hermie. Replace the bean thing with? If you happen to find something. Well, Hermie, I feel bad about ruining Christmas for you, so I actually am going to find something to replace the bean star piece we took from you with. It's your lucky day. So, let's explore Guahar Lagoon a little bit. I mean, the enemies here really don't pose much of a threat to us now. And it's a good thing, too, because they're persistent little buggers, aren't they? Two damage. Did you see? Did everyone see that? Two damage. Yeah. Really, I don't even feel the need to use bro attacks on you. Ta-da! Anyway, now that we have the ultra hammers, we can go over here. And get this syrup. Really, one syrup? That seems a little worth it. And we can find this creature. 
there, fellas. I'm the famous starfish star, Spangle. Since I first came here 365 days ago, I ain't seen a soul. Let me tell you, even a star from way over that big old sea needs a stage to stand on. Uh, yeah, that's right, baby. Don't you all know a place that suit a shining star? Yeah, that's right. A place for a shining star like me. Like the top of a festive tree. That's right. We do know a place. The hot dog, I'm ready to rock and roll. How about you let me crash in that thing, baby? We got a spangle? Alright, Spangle joins our party. And I'm going to be honest and say that I've never done this side quest before. I didn't even know this existed until I did my research for trying to finish this game. So this is new to me. I never knew that you could do this side quest. So this is all very exciting. Anyway, we'll just head up here. If you happen to find something, I do have a spangle. You two were made for each other. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey now, are we there yet? That's what I call a festive tree. Yeah. I'm a rock in this stage. You guys never fail. Everyone's happy. Isn't it wonderfied? Stop making up words. Take it with you. And we get our final side crest reward. The Soulful Brothers badge. Soul Brothers. No. And, um... Okay, we'll talk about it. Now, the Soulful Brothers... Will increase your bro points by... Let's see. I can't... I suck at math, but I'm pretty sure it's something like 40. Something like that. It's real high. It's extremely high. And, um... If it's equipped to... I, I forget how this works. It says the ability um, gives you auto gain on your bro points, but I think it only works if you have it equipped on Mario. But what happens is both bro points gain... Both brothers gain bro points back if you have it equipped on Mario. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to work. I think it's not supposed to work like that, but I, it might be like a glitch or an oversight in the programming. At least that's what I've heard. That's how it works. Don't ask me how I know that. I mean, I'm really not that like big into like optimizing my game strategy, <laughs> as we've seen. But um, I think I just happened across that while I was looking up stats for badges. Anyway, we've completed that side quest, and that's really the last side quest we have. That's really the last side quest we have. I mean, I could go back and try to get the casual coral from that surfing mini game, but you know, I've told you what it does. You know it exists if you want it. It's a good item, I just, I don't need it. I have, I have the best equipment in the game, in my opinion, so I really don't see the need to go back and get it. So, we're gonna head up to Hoo Hoo Mountain, because... Well... There's a couple reasons we're going there, actually. There are good, there are a good few reasons. Now, if we head this way, there's a path we couldn't get to, uh, because the super rocks are in the way, and this will actually lead us back to Gofaha Ruins. Now, we don't really have any reason to go into Gofaha Ruins again, so don't worry about going there. Uh, besides, I don't think you can, actually. But what we do want to do is we want to head over here. Because if we head this way, um, there's a Monty Mole that we couldn't get to earlier because we didn't have Ultra Hammers. We can get there now, though. So if we go here, he'll say, congratulations, and we'll get something. We'll get more... Oh, we got a max nut. <laughs> Maximum nuts. Maximum nut pleasure. Max nuts for your max pl pleasure? Maybe I shouldn't say that. Anyway, max nuts are like max mushrooms, but for both bros. So isn't that just magical? That's not the only reason I came back to Hoo Hoo Mountain, though. There are many... There are some other things we need to take care of on this mountainside. This mountainside we came to at the very beginning of the game. It's been so long since we were here. But there's more to see. More to do. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do as much of it as I can remember that we need to do. So 
right away. We break that. And there's a cave we can go into here. A little hidden area. We could have come back and done this anytime after we got the hand powers, but I decided not to. Because I knew we were going to have to come back here anyway before the game ended. So we're good. We're just going to explore this cave a little bit. No big deal. Do it right. Stop fooling around. Okay, now come on. There it is. That's what we need to go. Just get these. A little more. Some coins. We don't really need coins at this point. I mean, we're just gonna... We have... We have the equipment I'm gonna finish the game with, so... Random blocks take too long. If we head over here, we'll take on to the next area. There's a bunch of blocks we can break. More coins. There might be hidden blocks here, I don't know. And... I don't even know where we are now. It sounds like we're in Hoo Hoo Village, but... I don't remember this part. Okay, we're in Hoo Hoo Village again. I don't know. Alright, well, it's been a really long time since we've been in Hoo Hoo Village. How about we take a look around? We don't actually want to climb the mountain, though. We just kind of want to... We just we don't need to climb Hoo Hoo Mountain again. We're, we're good. We're content staying here. By the way, I remember early on I said that telescope on the top of Hoo Hoo Mountain was going to become relevant. I lied. I was wrong. I thought that's how you found the bean star pieces, um, but I was wrong. If we come back here, we've been to this area before, but you may have forgotten about this, but there was a big Troopa guy back here that we couldn't get past until we got Fire Bros. So just knock him out of the way, and we'll, we'll get to talk to this guy. Congratulations! And we get a golden mushroom for our troubles. That's great. Golden mushrooms are awesome. They're the rarest item in this game by far, except for maybe equipment. So you're going to want to stock up on those, because they are essentially the mega elixirs of this. Not that I've ever really needed a lot of like mega elixirs, but this time I'm actually going to use golden mushrooms because I'm not an idiot. Okay, so we did that. And I believe that's all we really need to do. So let's talk to Bublanodon. At last! Bublanodon, I have returned. Bowser's Castle? Yeah, you know how they we needed someone who could fly? Well, here's someone who can fly. Prince Peasley went to Bowser's Castle. We need your help, Bublanodon! I'm not going to screw up your name this time! Grab onto me. We're going to Bowser's Castle. Are you ready? Oh yeah. I was born ready. There. Well, whatever. Alright. This is it, everybody. He'll be waiting for us if we want to leave. Talk to Boblanodon. That's it. We're here. Welcome to the final area in the game. Bowser's Castle. By now, anyone familiar with Mario, this place should look, well, as inviting as a place filled with iron spikes and fire can possibly be. Anyway, this is it. The Mario Brothers who I hate are coming this way! They'll never make it here. Koopalings, your time has come! It only took eight years. But look, it's really them. The Koopalings are here. Now, I know right now, considering they're in every new Super Mario Brothers game, this probably seems like, you know, okay, so what? The Koopalings are here. But you gotta keep in mind that at the time, this game came out in 2002. Or 2003. It was one of those two years. But keep in mind, the last game the Koopalings had been featured in before this was Yoshi Safari. And that was almost ten years ago came out in 1994. I mean, that's a long time for them not to be in any games. And I mean, Yoshi's Safari really wasn't a high-profile game. Before that, it was Super Mario World in 91. 
So that's, that is 10 years time. No, don't save yet. So I mean, that's 10 years time, and this was their first reappearance. And no, 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 no. I know, I know what some of you are about to say, and no. Hotel Mario for the CDI doesn't count. It's not going to count. Don't count it. Hell yeah, I don't even think Yoshi's Safari counts. Barely. So you know Hotel Mario doesn't friggin' count. So don't even go there and say that it does. That came out in 96, by the way. So, Bowser's Castle. We're all ready to go. Oops. Oh, oh no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. So, remember how when we were in Joke's End and... It was kind of... It was, a, it was a big, sprawling dungeon, and it was filled to the brim with enemies. Well, that was kind of a sample of what we're going to get here. Now, oh, what the... Well, we're kind of defenseless. There we go. Nope, no hammers allowed. We can't even run. Well, I guess we'll just have to fight. Okay, now we can bro attack these people. Okay, so we have the advanced version of Cyclone Brothers. You guys want to see what that does? Yeah. Basically, the advanced version of Cyclone Brothers, you get one last hit off. Oops. Alright, so we have one last bro attack to unlock. We gotta unlock the Fire Brothers command. I'm probably gonna have to have another fight with these guys because I didn't talk about the enemies at all. Oh my gosh, you're healing them. Don't stop. Don't hit again. Okay, so anyway, um, we've seen the advanced versions for all of these. We can crank these back up to. No, 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 don't. We can crank these back up to level 3 because we don't really need them. Alright, so. Hammer Brothers throw hammers. Um, that's pretty straightforward. Oh, I messed up. I didn't get to do the last hit. That's all they do, really, is they throw hammers. You can tell who they're going to hit based on their shadow. Okay, so let's do Swing Brothers this time. We haven't seen the advanced version for this. So we will show that. Oh shoot, I messed it up. Okay, so what do we have left? Um, you've seen the advanced version for Thunder Brothers. In case you don't remember what it looks like, it looks like not that. Great. Oh. Okay, well he's stunned. We can't do our bro attacks. Just jump on him. Now we can, though. Oh, I missed. Well, whatever, that works. And Mario leveled up. So let's increase his... HP. No, bro points. No, HP. Did the attack power. Yeah, five! Wow, he's almost got a hundred. Luigi, increase your speed. Come on, five. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. No, we need to spin across. We gotta use all of our unique bro abilities. Okay, so. What awaits us in Bowser's Castle, you might be wondering? I mean, we have to we have the Koopalings running around, so you know something crazy is going to happen. But, I'll have to wait until next time. Because that's all for this episode. We're in Iggy's room. I bet you guys can't wait to see this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.